I'm not on the menu. That's what we we are fighting for. I'm not on the menu. My name isn't sexy. My name isn't baby. My name isn't honey. My name isn't sweet thing. My name is Noreen and I'm not on the menu. So I'm here to speak out against the sub tip minimum wage. I'm here to advocate for a living wage here in New York City and across the country. I feel that sexual harassment in the workplace is brought on because of the tips. I was a waitress almost 30 years ago for nine years. And here's the tragic story. Absolutely nothing has changed. The wage hasn't changed. The sexual harassment hasn't changed. The outfits I was forced to wear haven't changed. The abuse hasn't changed. This is an issue whose time has come. It's for my five children and 11 grandchildren. It's for all of the children in this country. I'm always being harassed by either my customers or being my bosses. Hey bosses, no, I don't want to give you a neck rub to get a good section. Bosses, no, I'm not grateful that you forced me to put up with for sexual harassment from customers so I can make enough money to pay rent and go to school. You deserve to work in an environment where you are not expected to smile in response to a customer making lewd comments about your body. You deserve to work in a place where you can report experiences of harassment without the fear of losing your job. That is how we are teaching young women in America what is acceptable in the workplace. We are teaching them through the restaurant industry, the single largest employer of young women, that it is okay to be touched and treated and talked to in any which way to get your income from the customer. And that is not okay. Enough is enough. That's why women are out today saying enough is enough. And guess what? This is just the beginning. I am here with the Ms. Foundation to stand beside 10 million workers across this country and asking to legislate one fair wage today. Every 14th of every month, restaurant workers, consumers, allies, 